Some of the best advice in the Bible is from this Bible quote, Luke 12, verse 31. It says, seek God's kingdom, and these things shall be yours as well. Often we read the Bible and we don't think of it as a moment-to-moment instruction in our lives. But no matter what church you go to, this is the truth. First thing in the morning when you lie there in bed, before you get out of bed, before you put your feet on the floor, seek God's kingdom. And know that throughout the day, hour by hour, these things will be yours as well. No matter what yesterday was like, today holds the promise of something new and wonderful created by God for you. And in your free will, if you're smart enough to let go of the pain of yesterday, you'll have a new day and new opportunity and new promise in today. Have no feelings of regret about yesterday. Because yesterday, even in the mistakes and the regret, brought you to today. A brand new day and a new opportunity. And and you've learned lessons. As you awaken from sleep into the light of the day, awaken into a glorious awareness of all that God has is yours. The light of spirit will give you understanding, understanding that you need for this new day and for the new opportunities. God's life will fill you with strength and energy and vitality. Love will fill your heart with joy. Peace will fill your soul with calm. And harmony and order will add beauty and balance to all that you do. You feel a sense of health. You feel happy. And you feel successful today. Why? Because you choose to. And because you choose to, God will come through you manifesting that. God is within you this day. And you look to God for the fulfillment of the promise. It is God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. In faith, I ask you to accept the blessings of the kingdom. You give thanks for a perfect day, a day that holds promise of something new and wonderful is made manifest. God bless your new opportunity. God bless your day.